only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed so please consider hitting that subscribe button it would help me a lot enjoy the video there are countless activities you can dive into in last day on earth from clearing challenging locations like bunker alpha and the farm to grinding essential resources to upgrade your base to taking on all 99 waves at the police department for rare purple weapon mods there's always something to keep you busy and of course we can't forget the thrill of raiding other players' bases. But there's one often overlooked activity that many players don't fully explore. Fishing. Fishing was introduced to LDOE back in 2019 with Beta V1.15, which came with some of the game's most monumental updates, including the launch of Season 3, Bunker Bravo, and the ATV. This was an exciting time for LDOE players, with new features enhancing gameplay, new locations, resources, the long-awaited ATV, and much more. Fishing was part of this update, and while it has since received a few updates, it remains somewhat in the background compared to other activities. So, that brings us to today's main question. Is fishing in Last Day on Earth actually worth it? In today's video, we'll take an in-depth look at the fishing and cooking mechanics, examining the benefits, limitations, and whether fishing truly deserves a place in your survival strategy. Fishing in LDOE is one of the most accessible activities, requiring nothing more than a simple fishing rod. The first and most convenient location to fish is the pier, located south of your base and costing only 17 energy to reach. At the pier, you'll find a small fishing area where you can fish until the pond is empty. The only way to refill the pond is by using Burley, an item that can be acquired either in the in-game shop or through rare trades with the fishermen at the pier. Trading with the fishermen can yield valuable rewards, including items like caps, glocks, C4, steel, factory parts, and more. Each fish you catch can be traded for different rewards, which brings added value to this often overlooked activity. In addition to the pier, there's a fishing event that spawns every couple of days and lasts for 12 hours. This event has three variations, one near your base, one in the oak forest, and one in the snowy regions. And the snowy area requires fur armor for protection. Each location has unique fish. These different fish types can be cooked into various dishes, which we'll discuss shortly. Then, in addition to these locations, there is a seasonal event called the fishing tournament. It is similar to other fishing spots, only here you earn points for progression in the season pass. Along with fish, there's also a chance to find a chest inside the pond as extra loot. The chest usually contains basic items like an expensive watch, which can be useful but isn't as valuable as the fish and recipes. Fishing itself is straightforward. The minigame may seem tricky at first, but with practice, you'll get the hang of it and become proficient. Once you've got the fishing mechanics down, you'll be able to gather fish quickly. You can even use grenades or an MGL to explode the pond and gather all the fish at once. Although I don't think it's worth it to waste an explosive on fish. That's just my opinion. Fishing is not just about trading fish, it's also the foundation for creating various dishes, each providing its own unique buffs. Currently, there are 17 dishes you can prepare at the kitchen stove, and they're classified into three categories. Not worth using, decent utility, and top picks. Some dishes don't offer much benefit. Sweet and sour perch, perch stuffed with vegetables, and fish stew provide minor perks, such as reducing thirst or hunger, but their effects are too limited to be valuable in most situations. You're better off saving your fish for more impactful recipes. These dishes offer moderate advantages that may appeal to certain players. Examples include carp stuffed with mushrooms, salmon soup, and catfish with vegetables. These recipes can boost resource gathering or slightly improve farming chances. For example, you might get an extra log or ore while farming or gain a boost in running speed. Though helpful, most players may not go out of their way to cook these regularly as the benefits are situational. These are the recipes you'll want to use for a solid advantage in gameplay. Salmon baked with vegetables, lavish mix of fishes, fish steaks, fish mix, and trout baked with mushrooms offer significant boosts in important areas, like increased XP from killing zombies or reduced noise during raids. These buffs can make a real difference and are 100% worth the effort to cook and incorporate into your daily gameplay routine. So, after considering the benefits of fishing and cooking, is fishing worth your time and last day on Earth? I'd say absolutely. Fishing is quick. 
taking only around five to 10 minutes of your playtime. You can gain great rewards from the fisherman's trades, and the dishes you can cook provide valuable boosts to various gameplay elements. The extra perks from cooking can help in challenging areas, make resource gathering more efficient, and offer buffs that are difficult to come by otherwise. And let's not forget the fun factor. Fishing provides a relaxing break from the more intense activities, allowing you to enjoy a different side of survival gameplay. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. How often do you go fishing in Last Day on Earth? Thank you for watching. And if you found this video helpful, consider subscribing. Only 8% of my viewers are subscribed, so it would mean a lot. Thanks again, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.